this video is for um, to give insight about why I support the Zeitgeist movement. Um, really, I have to say probably the reasons I, I don't support the monetary system uh, would, would have to deal with the monetary system's inability to care for uh, a large majority of the population of the earth and uh, it has little to do with um, logical uh, direct experience it has more to do with uh, people's opinion of the way things should be based on their superstitions their ideologies um, not necessarily based in what actually is in existence like if you take the the idea that we all have to um, buy into a system which uh, is controlled by those who um, print the money uh, and they can print that in excess uh, to cover their wars and to cover their malinvestments their the bad dealings and then um, if it were a poor man or a man with less means if he were to do s uh, something similar to steal from the large majority of the people he would be probably put to death or given a, uh, a life term in jail uh, the jails Everything's a system, uh, a system of institutions. The institutions control um, the media, the information um, that's allowed for public consumption. Um, not so much the internet, but uh, still, a large majority of people are controlled by what they see on TV, uh, the mass media. What they what they've been told, their conditioning, um, and someone's condition to to feel a certain way about the way things are. It's a hard thing to to break out of, and if you're one that steps outside of that that box or that the set parameters, um, you're ostracized. You're made to feel stupid. Uh, you're made to feel like you have to prove um, the illogical nature of the system that everyone takes for granted. Um, the reason I support the Zeitgeist movement is basically um, I support the ideas of uh, trying to find the solutions to the problems not uh, simply trying to find the solution to the symptoms um, we're looking at a deeper issue um, the monetary system which uh, is the root of a lot of the social uh, inequality the social uh, degradation the inability to educate um, one another uh, the means aren't always there if you lack the resources, you probably lack the opportunity for education. You lack the opportunity to provide the basic necessities of life. Food, shelter, really warmth and security. Um, it's hard a lot of times in, in this uh, materialistic world to, to find those uh, of similar nature or similar um, understanding because the population is so uh, fragmented or uh, it's segregated uh, based on um, the amount of resources you have a lot of times the clothes that you wear uh, people's projections of you based on things which are um, exterior you know 
don't really hold a lot of relevance to what's inside you, to your life experience, to what um, you've done. Um, so basically, I'm here to say that uh, the Zeitgeist Movement proposes a feasible plan, or w one feasible plan, which could bring about uh, infinite no numbers of other possibilities. Um, for the human race, for me, for life in general as we see it on the planet. Um, we first have to alter our, our perception or our, our conditioning. We have to go inside and, and look to see um, that which we would like to uh, see the world as and, and uh, not in a fantasy but in, in reality to uh, and to come together and uh, base our ideas off of something more concrete it's I mean not it's not a static thing but something that's more um, based on here now which um, the Venus Project proposes the scientific method with social and environmental concern and um, to find out more about these ideas and other ideas, uh, you can check out thevenusproject.com. Or if you're, um, or if you're at an understanding where you can relate to the concepts proposed by the Venus Project, um, to be more active or to become an activist to spread awareness um, in your area. You can maybe hook up with some others that are of similar interest. And maybe they can be found at the zeitgeistmovement.com. Um, I hope everyone is doing good and have a good night.